situations. Teach their own, man. There's one for everybody. Yeah. You want to watch somebody bang your woman, you know? You got, <laughs> yeah, then you go it's right ahead. You, you go for it. <laughs> hey, do you think it's worth getting married nowadays? Eh, not really. Not anymore. I think it was at one time, but men just do not have the status in the household that they did before. You know, when I was growing up, my I was raised by my grandparents, but my grandfather, so that's a generation, you know, back yeah. even, but my grandfather always got the biggest pork chop and he got fed first <laughs> and he got mm-hmm. taken care of first because he, he was, got treated like a king because he was a high value. Right, king. Because he was, <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. that's just, yeah. no, that's exactly it though. They, he probably felt that way too, because he was taken care of, you know, you could literally set your watch by my grandfather's meals to this day. I can literally go over my grandparents' house and at 1245, I know there's going to be a plate on that table, whether that man's <laughs> in that house or not. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he's even there. Yeah. He, it will be She's there straight. waiting for him. Yo. I guarantee it. And that doesn't happen anymore. Some women don't even want to cook. Like, I literally, oh, I hate to say this because it's kind of wrong, but I literally sat, sought out an Asian woman because they're one of the few women that are being taught by their families to take care of their men. Yeah. I know there's they other traditions and races that, that are doing yeah. that too, but mm-hmm. that's one of the obvious ones. It's like, for my wife, I don't have to beg her to do those things. Her parents have already ingrained that in her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I literally turn around and it's done, you know? And that's why I say, if you're going to get married, know who you're getting married to because that's who you're stuck with. And you don't want to end up making her your enemy. Yeah. Because know that's what, you what value. happens a lot. If you, if you value having dinner at the table at 6 p.m. and you value making more money than your girl, yeah. Get that type of girl. Yeah, yeah. Get that type of girl. Because there's a girl out there for everybody. Are you kidding me? A lot of those, a lot of those <laughs> situations, those are born out of people just using love as a word and not ever reflecting on on a definition that they can hold themselves and their their spouse or their their partner to. And I think a lot of it <coughs> just wrote this down in that uh, last passage. The the fear has been redirected from where it belongs to fear of authorities and meddlers. And and people who who write uh, you know write precedents in uh, family courts, you uh, uh, men are now forced to approach the institution as if it's barricaded by a bunch of legalese mm-hmm. and you know and with lawyers and judges. Approach marriage with fear and a bunch that of could be your ass. a bunch <laughs> of dictates that basically determine that you know if anybody finds fault with anything that happens going forward you are going to be 100% and more liable for everything in the aftermath mm-hmm. and that's a it's a it's a corrosive environment within which to d- ask men to behave as men yeah. uh, it's I don't like that it's awful masculinity it, dude what do that, you guys think happened like between your grand between thing. your grandparents generation where your grand well, women were basically trained to have the pork chop ready at 12:30 massive no. treating the man a high value king like how did that get lost over time from Dude. generation to generation I'm telling you, it's, it's like fe- like it's feminism females became more yeah. masculine and men became more feminine o- yeah. over each gen- <laughs> generation oh, well yeah. i you know no, <clears throat> i do think it's feminism but i uh extreme feminism I'm not against certain feminism. Like I believe females should have equal rights. Sure, but I think they're kind of taking things too far for certain things. No, and um, I I just uh, I think it started happening. Well, kind of. That's pretty much when it started happening. Well, what, what, what? I, I had another thought, but I think I they're treating like, equal was there rights a historic, like a buffet. Was there a historic event you feel like that happened when the momentum shifted? I think it's just been a process, like an ongoing process. But mm-hmm. I think the one of the main things is um, it has to do with the in, the courts. I think yeah. the courts um, are affecting you know society a lot because when the reason I say this is because like if a man now like a woman can like take your kids, take half your salary, you know, yeah. if you get get um you know a divorce, even but, if but, she's the one that cheats. Yes, but mm-hmm. this is a trickle down effect. So what it does is like a lot of times they take the kids. So now the kids are raised by you, m- more than likely a single mother. Sure. And this single mother, I'm not, I don't have anything against you single mothers, but you you're, should. you're not a man. Like you're not a father, you know, especially for the male. Yeah, it should be raised by you know. Uh, so I, I feel like a lot of times these, these, fe- these single mothers, 
the father can't even see the kids or they have like this such limited you know contact with mm-hmm. them where they can't even like they're raise they can't be that use them as a bargaining chip. And, yeah. Yep. And they then, can't be the strong so, male figure. So these kids are getting raised and 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 I'm not saying all single mothers do this. Usually that there's like beef between the mother and the father. And who do, who they they'll be complaining about the father or the male then the, then the cuz I I was raised by a single mother. So I oh, yeah. I've seen okay. some of this. So I have experience. So you start thinking these males are thinking bad of their their dads, you know, my dad don't see me, but not knowing that he can't see you because of this and that and all things. Um, and then that caused a division. And then did the, your mom keep you from your dad or like, yeah. the, like you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. Like, well, she kind of like said things and now, you know, and I was like, well, so I'm believing you know, cause he's because bad. you love he's your horrible. mom. He doesn't yeah. want to see you. Know? You, sure. you, you love and your he's mom. over there talking about, please. <laughs> yeah. So. And I mean, not all situations are like this, but I think it has happened a lot. And sure. then, so these single, these males that are raised in these these situations, they they don't they didn't have a strong father figure. They you know around. And there's a lot of them. Like yep. there's a lot of them. Me too. And then they go to school. I don't think there's enough male teachers, so they're getting raised by females. You got females raising a lot of males, and then. Then they go to school, t- and usually there's not many male teachers. And I'm not talking bad about females. I'm just, I just. No, you should. I'm, <laughs> wow. I'm, j- I'm just saying, like, there's not, like, a balance of positive male role models for a lot of these kids coming up these days. And, and uh, the courts have made it so easy for, like, the woman to leave the man. Sure. You it's know? incentivized. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, he did something wrong. Well, I'm going to ha- his kids get child support. Blah blah blah. I don't get why he, that's still possible though. I, because I, I, don't, I don't know. What equal rights? Th- that's the thing. Like, but I don't know if I know people are seeing it. They're just not talking about it. Well, I'm talking about it. Well, like, I mean, this is what's like, so ridiculous about it is that and, on the on the very front end of this entire narrative, you you had exceptional situations where you had a you, you had a, a female descendant who would be. Given no restrictions on, the, you know, the, how uh, the the lineal passing on of property and and money and things like that. Well, laws existing that prevented female descendants from being, you know, the the one the receivers. The receivers. Once blood. that once yeah. those situations were overcome in the letter of the law, the whole damn thing should have ended. I'm saying even before women got the right to vote, because the steps were being taken. Men were at work creating opportunities for the women who demonstrated the faculty and the knowledge to enter law, to enter science fields, to, uh, you know, be shop owners. If their father was somebody who owned a store and passed away and, uh, you know, a daughter was the one left or even a wife. At the beginning, 90 percent of women out in the world wanted they wanted to keep the family unit isolated from political discussions they wanted nothing to do with women being able to vote but a bunch of busybody propagandists and academicians conspired to coordinate with the government and people in the media to convince them uh, to convince women in general that that was the thing to do in order to fix things that had vote? already <laughs> been is fixed that what i'm hearing right what now? what uh, is that you, what you're saying what that women shouldn't be allowed to vote right now? Democracy is an arbitrary arrangement. Nobody should be able to vote. Uh, Come well, on, that's well, voting you is kind of re- around it. I'm tired. Sorry. Around it Sorry. Voting is retarded. Well, one thing is, um, like, you, wa- you see what's going on in social media. You see what's going on on regular media. They don't, they don't um, make the – we should be, like, kind of stressing that family should be together. And I feel like that's in – the narrative at all no. like they made it so easy for people to leave each other that it's like it shouldn't be that easy you know if you get married that's supposed to be death till you part now i n- understand there's extreme situation but it shouldn't be that easy it shouldn't be a financial advantage for one person to leave the other it yeah. just shouldn't be like that's and why is it so good for the woman to leave yeah. and never good for the man to leave that's what i don't get if there's equal rights See, women use equal rights like a buffet. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll take equal pay. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, 
oh, equally when we break up that we share everything and split everything down the middle? Nah, put that back, put that back. It's because like, it's, a, it's, a, it's an attempt at a general con- conceptualization of what people observe, and it never translates into anything useful in the particular. Because when you, you, come, you come up with this the way it should be, well, now that has to be implemented through all of the sticky, dirty fingers of the state and all of its accompanying cronies who got their, their their little tendrils penetrating into everything, and it, it one false turn of a policy can cause absolute disaster. But that's never that's never taken account of at the beginning with the well, this is the way it should be: women's rights, equal pay, all this dumb <laughs> shit. Not a single one of these people ever does their due diligence to actually investigate the causes or even the existence of these deficits they claim to be crusading against. And it is, it is, it's just, it's bound to be a disaster. And it's we're tough to prove, it. yeah, but it's tough to prove, like, who's responsible for ruining the marriage. Uh, you know, like, when you think about it in an actual court of law, it's basically like, a fuck, it turns into a fuck giant he said, she said game. Yeah, and then, and then, how do you turn? And if you treat it, if you treat it as a, as a temporary matter, uh, matter of a matter of legal convenience that somebody can throw away at the first sign of being dissatisfied with something, well, you didn't have a marriage in the first place. Just split everything. Down. The whole yeah. thing was pretend. It was basically role playing. Women. That's should, that's what a lot. Yeah. Well, well, they're role playing marriage. 